Het circuit van Silverstone in Engeland, waar op 12 juli de negende Grand Prix van dit seizoen gehouden zal worden. Het circuit is jarenlang de thuisbasis geweest van Eddie Jordan Racing in de tijd dat hij zich bezig hield met de Formule 3000. Nu hij vorig seizoen de grote stap naar de Formule 1 maakte, heeft hij sinds kort met zijn 54 medewerkers een nieuw gebouw betrokken op een paar honderd meter afstand van het circuit. Hij legt zelf uit wat er in deze fabriek gebeurt. This is a new factory. We're here about three months and uh, we make and prepare all the race cars for here. Uh, even the test program, everything is done except for the uh, Japanese car engine test program is run from Japan itself. So if you like the whole of the Jordan Grand Prix um, make up, the engineering and the making and the manufacturing of the cars is all done here in Silverstone. If we look at this year's uh, Grand Prix, you're not very successful until now. Uh, you changed your car on three points uh, from the start of the season. You changed the body, you changed, uh, changed the engine and you changed the gearbox. Isn't that too much at one time? Probably looking back, one could possibly say yes. Uh, nevertheless, I personally believe that uh, the decision, what we came up with to change all three things is important and was the right way to go. Because if we're ultimately to strive to get to be a world champion, we've got to do it on ourselves. It's too easy to copy people, but by copying people you can only ever be the equal to them, if you're lucky. And this way I believe we can be the best, and, and we have monitored very carefully what McLaren and Williams have done. And um, I believe, although the results are not there to show it, I believe it was the right decision. Isn't the engine uh, too big for the car? Is the, is the balance uh, gone now uh, when you change from Ford to Yamaha? Um, the car itself, in terms of its wheelbase, is exactly the same. Um, certain things had to be modified to make sure that the engine, of course, is a 12-cylinder and naturally is much longer than the 8-cylinder that we previously had. So to get the engine into the car was uh, a very good engineering feat and very technically advanced how we did it. So from that point of view, it was a, a, a big thrill that we could do it in the same size of chassis that we had last year. Um, the balance itself, I think from what the drivers are saying and what we can actually get in the readouts and aerodynamics and all the different feedback of the, the computerized information that we have on, on the logging system and, and the telemetry would prove to us that the car is significantly quicker than last year. What have you done between Brazil and Spain? Almost everything. Um, we are currently in Imola at the moment testing. Um, we're testing all sorts of things. I think uh, finally the gearbox problems should be sorted by now. Um, we have made uh, big improvements uh, on the chassis and on the car. Um, but I, I wouldn't personally hold out m you know, much hope for a big change because what we are striving to do is um, to make a big advancement and I think that advancement will happen just before Canada and from there on in I think we will be extremely strong for the remainder of the season. Are you going to have some new drivers this year, uh, for instance Alan Prost? If we're talking about 1992 I think that is uh, impossible, we are extremely happy with the drivers that we've got. Uh, Alan Prost, of course, has a huge reputation and for Jordan at the position it's in at the moment, um, I think Alan Prost would not be suitable here and I don't think that Alan would be for himself or we with him because we're looking for, if you like, drivers who are coming to the top who can be world champions in a couple of years time and Alan has such a wealth of experience, it may create the wrong balance that we're looking for. In my opinion, and it's a private opinion, I think Senna is the best driver in the world. Um, but Nigel Mansell is proving a lot of people wrong and proving the fact that he can be a world champion. You think he's going to win the title this year? I think it will need a very, very strong opposition to now move him from this because having won the three races with such style, um, I think the car is so advanced and Williams have worked and have been in difficult times three years ago but they have stuck to their plans, they stuck to their commitments uh, and now they are enjoying the benefit of it and this is my philosophy also. I believe we are encountering a certain amount of pain at the moment and that pain hopefully will turn to joy but first before you in get the full pleasure out of life you have to withstand the pain and I hope the pain that we're suffering at the moment doesn't last for too much longer. Okay, final question, which Grand Prix you're going to win this year? Mentally we are preparing ourselves first that we have to get 
accustomed and used to being on the podium and then we can think about winning races with style and I'm not sure you're going to see that with Jordan in 1992 but I am convinced that in 93 you will see a winning team because in 94 we have to look at winning a championship because these are the aims, these are the goals and usually we are very seldom far removed from what we set out as the main target for ourselves.